the water fountain. Over there. Welcome to Signing Off. I'm your host, Rose Kirshner, and today's theme is Outlaws. Click off this video, and I'll find you. So, enjoy the show! The story you're about to hear is completely true. Some may even call it a true story. There once was a man by the name of Tobias Marzio. This man was a complete fool. A gosh damn coward, if you will. You could ask anyone and they tell you, Oh, Tobias? Yeah, that man is a complete fool. A gosh damn coward. Tobias came from a long line of infamous outlaws who ran the West with villainy and wickedness. Tobias' daddy was an infamous outlaw. Tobias' granddaddy was an infamous outlaw. Tobias' great actually, actually, Tobias' great granddaddy was not an infamous outlaw. He was in fact a mime, quite the scandal at the time. But Tobias' great great granddaddy was an infamous outlaw. Unfortunately for Tobias, he wasn't no infamous outlaw. He don't know any more about committing crimes than a hog does a side saddle. Every time he tried to rob a stagecoach, someone would beat him to it. Damn! He beat me to it! Every time he'd attempt to murder the mayor, he'd get too scared to attempt the murder. Damn! I am too scared to attempt the murder! He even tried tying a damsel to the tracks. Tobias Marzio, a hero if I ever did see, you just caught the county's most wanted criminal. Gosh damn it! Since society would never acknowledge Tobias as a true outlaw, he had to fabricate the warrant for his own incarceration. He plastered the town with his face hoping the lawful would catch him, dead or alive. I'm gonna burn down the schoolhouse! I'm going to wear the mayor's face as a mask and cuckold him by making love to his lady. I'm going to pirate the shepherd's cattle. And that's the story of one poor Tobias Marzio, an outlaw on the run from the law, which was never chasing him in the first place. Never have I ever in a cop. Got me, got me. Never have I ever butchered Carol Myers in the alley behind the Latin Casino last Tuesday night, 8.34 p.m. Gotcha! Boss says big guy won't be coming till midnight. But it don't hurt to be ready early. Think he's gonna bring the good stuff this time? Count on it. We gotta stay up all night. We're not letting this gumbo slip through our fingers again. I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. What the f is Gina? The watch it! Language! We are this close. Alright, watch it. Don't go using all the milk. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Jeez, Paulie. Gino, you're late. My mommy cookies. We got the milk. Had the milk. Slow the roll, you cannoli. This year, we're gonna get gifts for sure. I'm sure of it. Been such a good boy this year. If we don't get presents this year, I'm gonna go berserk. Listen, we are not leaving until I see his fat ass slide down that chimney with my own two eyes. Shh, he's gotta think we're asleep or he ain't coming. That fat cajoli didn't show. That's it. We're gonna kill the Santa Claus. Hey, whoa, talk like that's the reason why we're on the fing naughty list. And I've had enough of it. That Stromboli in a hat has been passing me by ever since I left my parents' house. <laughs> no more. Well, you pull the car around. We're going to the North Pole. 
talk. Come on, Gino. I just dropped a book on this morning. As you can tell, we here at Signing Off are very intrigued by outlaw culture. So, I have two rising stars from the criminal underworld to give an interview with us today. Fourth grader Stephanie and her best friend Melanie. Hi. Hi! Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for being here. Is it true that you're one of the most famous outlaws in your neighborhood? Uh-huh. You betcha. I'm the roughest, toughest outlaw you've ever seen. I believe it. Can you tell me about some crimes you committed? Or if they're still under investigation? A committed. Right, well, on mischief night, I go to the houses in my neighborhood and I egged all of them. All of them? Did she stutter? Is there anything else you've done? Well, when I'm feeling especially evil, I'll go up to houses, mm -hmm. ring the doorbell, and then run away before anybody answers. So you ding dong ditch. <laughs> You're ding dong uh, Okay, Melanie, do you want to tell us about some of your criminal activity? I burn sometimes. You burn? Yeah. Do you care to elaborate? No. Okay, um, back to you, Stephanie. Please. Well, once me and my mommy were about to cross the street, and mommy said, Stephanie, hold my hand. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I sprinted across the street by myself. Whoa, you're a wild little rebel, aren't you? You keep saying words, so many words, as if I don't have the ability to annihilate you. This one time, I pushed Kyle Murray down the slide because he was taking too long to go down. Why is she saying that to me? One time I saw a squirrel. So I walked up to the squirrel. Mm-hmm. And then what happened? Wouldn't you like to know? She yeah. killed it. Did oh. it to Buddy. Don't touch me. <laughs> how, She's so funny. How do you guys get to these crimes you commit? Does your mom have a carpool or something? Oh, no. Melanie drives. You drive? Aren't you like 10? 23. You're 23 years old. Oh, uh, you meant age. Yeah. I was talking about my kill count. So this one time, me and Melanie did a drive-by in my pink Barbie Jeep. Hey! <laughs> Listen to her. Yeah, so yeah. So we uh -huh. pull up Kids Bop blasting. Mm -hmm. And who do we see? That punk Kyle Murray. Oh. So my best friend here gets out of the Jeep and shoves him to the ground. <laughs> stabbed him. You what? I stabbed him. I didn't shove him. With, with that? Yeah. She's so funny. There's still some leftover Kyle Murray if you want to see. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, yeah, that's really cool. Maybe you show someone in the back. I think they really want. Stop! Can you guys? I think we're good. I, my my director is so giving funny. me a cue. I think I you guys have him to so go. Good. I think it's time for you to go. But thank you so oh, much for coming. I stabbed him so good. It was really everyone. nice meeting you. <laughs> nice um, meeting you guys. Good luck in middle school. Bye. Really deep too. Thank you. Oh my. God. Oh my god. Now what you're about to hear is an interesting little tale, a tale of retribution and severe violence. There once was a bounty hunter named Jebediah Stone who was famous for his killing. Now although the bounties read dead or alive, Jebediah would always go with the former. When Jebediah found the man who killed the sheriff's deputy, when Jebediah found the man who stole all the cattle, when Jebediah found the woman who went around unlocking all the town chastity belts, when Jebediah found the eight-year-old peeping Tom, Now although Jebediah had a certain admiration for killing things dead, he was starting to feel a little blue. What's on your mind, pal? There's only one thing I know how to do. Kill. And there ain't nobody else left to kill for bad deeds. Seems like I killed every criminal in the West. Well like, don't you have a choice in like, whether you can keep them alive or not? Why don't you just arrest them? Spoken like a weak yellow belly. If the bounty says wanted dead or alive, why would I ever go with the latter? I don't know, partner, but it seems to me that you're in need of a drink. Tell me, Sidewinder, what's today's date? November 7th. Seems to me you're operating under an expired liquor license. <laughs> I've been meaning to get that fixed tomorrow. Operating under an expired liquor license is a genuine crime, making you a genuine criminal. But that ain't a problem, ain't it?
Jebediah Stone, the greatest bounty hunter in all the West, searching for something greater. Florida State Police are conducting a statewide manhunt after a bizarre turn of events late Monday night. After the unexpected snowstorm, a man was caught on video stabbing and violating multiple snowmen. He was able to dismember a confirmed total of four snowmen before witnesses say he ran off, leaving only a trail of yellow snow. Officials say he is armed and dangerous. Joseph, have you been speaking to that town girl again? You've been very secretive. Here, here, I steal from everyone and I give to myself. Whoa, what? Who are you? What's that doing now? Bro, were you not listening? I don't know how to use this, it's just for intim- It's just for intimidation. Is that the town girl? Definitely not. Jesus Christ, take what you want. What do you gotta work on some things? I guess something has to change. I need to reinvent myself. Honey, I'm home. Robin Hood. When you're here, you're family. <laughs> it is not what it looks like. Did you know one in four Americans aren't eating enough fiber? Oh, we oui, oui, baguette, to manger. It's time for your colonoscopy. Lahaya. Did I do that? <laughs> Is your oven on? I... My wife? Wow, you have nothing to steal. I can see your entire penis. You know what, that's a good one. Let me, let me write that down. No, look. Oh. Has it, has it always been like that? Mm-hmm. I need to go change, but you, you need all of this more than I do. Give me a second. One second. Give me a second. One second. There you go. They're Yeezys. Take care. Rise and rise again, until lambs become lions. We shall steal from the rich, and we shall give to the poor. You the coward outlaw known as Tobias Marzio? Yep. You Jebediah Stone, the bounty hunter notorious for killing? Depends on who's asking. Oh, well, 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 I am, uh, I am asking Tobias Marzio. All right, then yes. Well. Looks here, we're in a bit of a pickle. And there's only one way to get out of that. By shooting. I suppose so.
So there you go. That was the greatest story of the Wild West ever told. I bet you expected it to end in blood and brutishness. Ha! Sorry to disappoint. This story ended in love. A love that will survive the test of time. Yeah, that's right. Cowboys getting it on. Saddling and battling. Bang, bang, boom, pow. Wa choo choo cha cha. Ha ha! Y'all be good now, you hear? Glad to see you stuck around. Time to mosey on out of this episode. I'm your host, Rose Kirshner, signing off. Thank you.